Logan Phillips. Audrey Salute. Ben Carr, Mason Mills, and Ike Williams. Michael Marino. <laughs> Hayden Stein. Hayden Stein. Hayden Stein. Trevor Raymeyer. Sam Mailer. Dylan of Villanoza. Dr. Alleman. Luke Pay. Ben Carr. Ben Carr. Ben Carr. Ben Carr. Ben Carr. Ben Kappas. Ben Kappas. Ben Kappas. Ben Kappas. Ben Carr. Abraham Diaz. <laughs> Mrs. Ortiz. Andrew Callow. Michael Moreno. Ken Lasorio. <laughs> my senior crush is myself. Dylan of Villanoza. Uh, the entire staff of the newspaper and Gianna Marietti. Uh, Randy Hudson and Maddie McDermott. Ashley Maselli. Caitlin Rice. Gabe Anderson and Mason LaPena, but mostly Gabe. <laughs> Miss Clark and Mr. Nedler. Miss Smears. Um, I have to give a shout out to Schwartzberg, uh, Gunderson, and Miss Clark for sure. And Mr. Sink. Mr. Casenza. Uh, probably Oz Simmons because he taught me how to become a better volleyball player when I sucked and he taught me how to be a good person too. Mr. Valderrama, he gave me a passion for writing and showed me to put metaphors in everything I do. Ms. Swenson for being our personal therapist and always being so positive. Mr. Rosser because he helped me overcome my fear of eggs with our egg drop project in physics. Uh, Mr. Sampson in all his madness. Miss Jacob slash Hanniger, she called me out for having senioritis um, all the way from freshman year until now. Miss Clark. I would say Miss Jacobs because even though she goes through hardships and so do we, she shows that we can persevere and achieve our goals in the end. And for me, I would say Mr. Sullivan because he really pushed us out of our comfort zones with the labs that he taught and he really cares about his students. Randy Hudson because he pushed me to bring a lunchbox to school and not a toxic brown paper bag. Senior Sink, uh, junior year he started talking about queso and I knew from that moment on that he is a comedy genius. Definitely walking into Mr. Dunn's class in a full leg brace and him still making me do sit-ups. It was sophomore year and I'm walking down the stairs with all my books in my hands and I trip on my own foot and fall straight on my face and my hands are stuck behind my binder and I'm stuck there for like one minute and people don't know whether to laugh or like try and help me. The first time I drove to school sophomore year, I left my car on and the battery died and a police officer came into my classroom to announce it for my class I left my car on. I crashed into Amanda's car. 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 Wait, what? Uh, trying to become a rapper. Being on the Dana Hills football team for freshman and sophomore year. <laughs> sophomore year in Mr. Sullivan's class, it was one of the classes where you put your phones in the front and we were presenting the principals there. And my phone went off and my ringtone is, I love it when you call me Big Papa. My most embarrassing moment was when Dylan of Villanoza asked me to homecoming freshman year. And instead of saying yes, I said, fine. Uh, hula dancing for like 15 minutes in the hypnotist show. I was a freshman and basically I was sitting down at the blue tables and this girl, she was playing lacrosse with her friend and all of a sudden the, the ball goes flying across and it hits my glasses and splits them in half. So for like a week or so or maybe even a month, I was just walking around as a freshman with my glasses taped together. My most embarrassing moment at Dana was sophomore year when I went to go sit down at a lab table and I missed the chair and I got knocked out. My sophomore year during pep squad we were on the field sharing with the soccer team and I got hit in the head with the soccer ball and passed out in front of the entire varsity soccer team. The guys at Bagels they're like gods. Well uh, basically in my group of friends because they were patients with me uh, when I, I did understand stuff they explained everything to me and I think that's basically how I survived being in a new school here. Maeve. Kiku. All the smart kids that sat in front of me. Um, I owe Danielle Kalam for getting me through high school because she drove me every single day. And without her, I wouldn't have come. Sammy Harris. Courtney Swift. Elena. So my funniest moment at Dana was probably freshman year at one of my first swim meets. 
when my brother was counting my laps and he miscounted me, so I had to swim a lot more. So I got out of the pool and I decided to try and fight him and yell at him and then I yelled at all the coaches and then I just sat on my own in the shed. Sneaking out of the school in Connor Brown's trunk. Using a taser on links and fonts nipples in physics. My funniest moment was when at the junior social I'm wrapping up on stage and uh, Parker comes down, I hand him the mic and he did not remember any of the lyrics that we wrote for him and he froze on stage and it was just an embarrassment for the, for the label. Um, probably an air guitar when I had Brian Barta pour water all over me in a flash dance scene. My funniest high school moment would definitely have to be driving into the senior lot as a junior in my minivan and one of the proctors coming up to me and telling me that there were no parents allowed in the senior lot. <laughs> The thing I'm going to miss most about Dana is definitely Avery, Suji, and Anna Hummelberg. Just kidding! We're we are to college together! Um, I'm going to Utah. And I'm going to Idaho. So, so surfer, surfer boys. boys. <laughs> um, like seeing all my friends every day and like having fun in class with them all. All the new friends I've made this year and just everyone in the school, everyone is just so great and the real world isn't like that. <laughs> I'm going to miss the homeroom tutorials. Giving a crap about something doesn't make you any less cool. Freshman, you won't have to ride the trolley forever. <laughs> Bye! When you're a senior, you're gonna want to rig Clash too. Um, uh, just be nice to everyone. There's so many people who like care about what people think and you just need to be kind. Don't worry about falling down the stairs, but maybe worry about falling up them. Don't forget to tell your parents you love them because they really do the most for you and they're your biggest supporters and biggest fans. Little twig out. Enjoy every moment because before you know it, you'll be a senior getting ready to graduate. My last words for Dana Hills is everyone's got stuff going on, so just try to be as helpful as you can. So it's our third take, so if we just let's let's oh, yeah. it up. Yeah. To do what you want with the people that make you happy. Just try to be yourself and don't try to be the person that you think people will expect you to be. Just be what you want to be. Accept change because change happens so much over the years and you're not going to be the same person you were when you were a freshman and that's okay you won't have the same friends like you may have similar people but accept change because it's good and life's more fun uh, my last words for dana would be be yourself and don't be scared to get out of your comfort zone because you never know when it can help you out even though the sun shines brighter than all the other stars that we can see that doesn't mean the stars are shining any less radiant so be that star, and the world will see you for who you truly are. Love y'all. Stay solid. Honestly, after all these four years, I didn't even realize it till senior year, but... Don't take it for granted and just have fun. Take lots of pictures and be nice to your teachers. six times on our first day of freshman year and each was a list of names we didn't recognize and the truth of the matter is we still don't know them all but some of the names we didn't recognize that day now they're everything to us this place was our life it's not anymore now we all separate and scatter but for four years our lives unfolded here all of us overlapping all over one another Names that our 14-year-old selves didn't even register are now tied to people we love more than we could ever say. Tied to laughter and sports teams and tutorials and concerts and fast food and studying and parties and music and zero periods. Those lists of names became the fabric of our lives. Our high school experience cannot be alphabetized. The things that happened and growth we made can't be organized into neat rows of text. It was complex and often painful and overwhelming and consuming and so fun. And it's hard to see it end. The late nights that seemed like they'd never end and the late nights we wanted to never end, they've ended. 
As we move into the morning of our adult lives, let's be sure to take with us those hard lessons and happy memories of hope. Class of 2019, don't forget the people you became friends with because your desks were next to each other. Don't forget those days where your classmates made you laugh so hard you thought you might die. Don't forget the teachers who didn't just educate us, but cared for us. Who didn't just lecture us, but shaped us. Don't forget those friendships that filled every day with sunshine, or the love you found in the most unexpected places. Whether you're headed to the school of your dreams or you're thankful just to graduate, hold on to every valuable thing you learned here. Whether or not this was where you were happiest, this is where you became. For us, this fleeting chapter is over. As it slips from our fingers, love it for what it is and what it was. We stumbled in here in the fall of 2015, clueless, curious, and now we are so different, we will be as unrecognizable to our freshman selves as those names on the roll call. We all stumble, not just on the first day, but throughout these four years, struggling to understand, to improve, to succeed. Now we're about to stand, diplomas in hand, caps on our heads, and all our struggles, all our efforts, and endeavors, whatever they were, are acknowledged and concluded. So when we hear that last Friday song and listen to the bell ring for the last time at 2.44, we stride away, Dana at our backs, but the memories forever in our hearts. Words for Dana. Long live the prophet. Woo!